it was Eclipse Day here in uh, North America. Um, not for everybody. Yes. Not for everybody. It, a big portion of the country got to see a little piece of the eclipse. Yeah, we got about 65% here. Yeah. Um, which the crazy thing was you didn't notice. Really? Like the the friggin' sun is so strong here. I thought I got to where I was going today around the time they said we'd be eclipsed. And it was still super surface of the sun bright. So I'm like, wow, I guess maybe I got the time wrong. Put on my little eclipse glasses. No, the sun is 60% covered. But here in Colorado, I guess that one mile elevation really matters because you would never know. See, here uh, we got like 74% or whatever the news said. You'd know because everything looked like it had a freaking weird Instagram filter on it. It's like I kept, I went Very outside. Cool. It's like I had sunglasses on, even though I didn't. I kept trying to take yeah. off my sunglasses. And I could. See, and that's what I was expecting here. I knew it wouldn't get dark, dark, but yeah. I was expecting things to at least get a little dimmer. It was it was like the light everywhere. Like I, the porch light was suddenly very very bright. Like it wouldn't be in the normal daylight. You can't really tell the porch lights on. But it, it's yeah. like, wait, what? It's, it's very disconcerting. It's the one day, like every other day of the year, every other day not of the year. It's not annual, but every other day, you don't have to tell people not to look at the sun. You don't have to tell yeah. them this. You don't have to say, don't look at the sun because they're like, ow, no. He's going to burn your retinas out. But the one special day, you have to say, no, don't look at it. And what's the first thing that happens? Why? Well, you know, it's don't think about a pink elephant. Yes, but that was our president. It's going to be, it's hard to top last week. Last week was a great week. Like last week was pretty great that was fantastic i had a great time i'm gonna have less of a great time this week because oh. we're back to we, some of the there's this one or two is like ah but there's 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 one this is like in the make it, some of these are making me mad this is very mad un, un, uh, mad so we've got yeah it's it's i <laughs> Like it's, mm. I I I'll spoil it if I say it. So we pretty much we should just jump into it because I'll spoil it if I say it. Mm. Anyway, you'll see, you'll see, because I you'll you'll oh I okay. Well, when we'll we get yes, and it's Florida, which makes it worse. All right, let's get the intro going. I'm blathering. I'm having a blathering night. Each week, Catherine, the Radio Dead Air audience, go out in the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff, bring back here for a little segment we like to call, What the Fuck is Wrong? And this first one's not quite so bad. So I'm going to ease us into it a little bit. You're welcome. Um, this one's not quite so bad. We have seen kids stealing cars like nobody's business. That is, that is like, you know, its own genre here. It wasn't like this back in our day. <laughs> Maybe because so many you of know. them were manual shift. That well, yeah, that's true. That you know, though. Like, yeah, to do the gas and the clutch and the thing, and maybe we just weren't sophisticated enough. Cars kind of drive for you now. This kid, I swear to God, at least he actually had a legit reason for it. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm shocked by because it's, it actually, it's not a lie. It, it it's very it checks out. Nine year old. Come on now, don't do that. Nine year old who missed school bus, drives mom's car to school. Sparks police chase. He just wanted an education. <laughs> well, probably less he wanted education, more he didn't want to get in trouble. I bet. Um. Let's see here, gotta bring this up. Too many, too many tabs, too many tabs. Nine-year-old uh 
California police officer got a shock when the car he was chasing came to a stop behind the wheel. Nine-year-old boy making his way to school. Officer Dunn noticed the car stopped in the middle of the intersection of 4th and Grand. He then announced over the PA system for the car to move, to which the boy turned on to 4th Street, making his way through this intersection and then through the parking lot of the Valero gas station. After navigating his way through the gas station, he's made his way through the dirt lot and then backed into Officer Dunn's patrol car. Oh, no. A few seconds later, I noticed a little head bobbing inside. Unusual. I exited my patrol vehicle, made my approach, and as I was approaching, I could see a kid who turned out to be a nine-year-old child sticking his head out saying, I'm sorry, I was trying to get to school. The boy's school was right next door. Oh, baby. So he actually kind of was getting to school. That identified that if, if that was the school he's headed to, contact the principal, contact the parent. Everyone showed up to the scene. <laughs> I mean, this this is actually, this is a weird one because normally these kids are just fucking around. Yeah. Like, we had the one, I, I want to go to McDonald's. We had the yeah. one, we had the one who was stealing a freaking caravan. Little criminal genius. This, this one's like, I have a spelling quiz. <laughs> no, this one's like, no, I can't have one more absence. If I do, I'm going to have to go to timeout. This is a nine-year-old with fucking anxiety. <laughs> What if we die? What if we die? I feel like all the nine-year-olds have anxiety now. Yeah. I feel I kind it's of feel for this them. kid. I know. It's like I, I know I'm in trouble. I do not feel for this guy. Now, I do do my best here. We joke about doing illegal shit on the show. We joke about it. I do my best to try and emphasize that we're joking. But in this instance, this, I, what did you think was going to happen? You fucker. The fuck is wrong with you? Drunk Florida man beaten after making fun of guests with Down syndrome at Disney <gasps> World. At wow, Disney World. You. At Pete. Mm. At this of all the literally it's more for the kid than you or the person i don't know if it's a kid or not but this you do florida man was arrested after he allegedly caused a fight at disney world bar while intoxicated when he made fun of a woman with down syndrome uh, and the affidavit, okay, so it's a grown up. Uh, the affidavit uh, officer said 61 year old Brent George was arrested and charged with four counts of battery after the altercation. Um, just after 9 p.m., officers responded to the bar in response to a physical fight, later determined to be battery against four victims. When arriving at the scene, officers said George was intoxicated, had several injuries to his face, and claimed were a result of being hit by a glass cup. You know, there's, uh, according to the complaint, the family was sitting at a nearby table when George approached them and started mocking the couple's daughter, who was described as having Down syndrome and was wheelchair bound. The girl. So he like approached people to do yep. this. He, they, he, they were not that it would be okay otherwise. They were, but he went out of his way. They weren't crossing his path. They weren't causing him no trouble. He's at the bar. He's like, Oh, hey, let's go do this. It's this girl's mother then confronted George and asked him if he was making fun of his daughter, of, of her daughter, when George stood up and allegedly shoved her twice. So. What the fuck? What did the entire fuck? The husband of the woman who was slapped got involved and George allegedly punched him in the neck. George was then punched in the head by the husband, allegedly told officers he did not remember anything specific due to being intoxicated. He also said he was having, quote, a good time with the individuals, and then he was attacked by them. I didn't do nothing. I, they're being, I didn't do nothing. They got all mad. I wasn't doing nothing.
Not our bystander grabbed George and moved him from the scene. George is backed away by medical staff. Pled not guilty to all four battery charges. This is one that's going to go in front of a jury, and you're going to be lucky to, like, um, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, uh, I thank you for returning the verdict, but you, you realize you, th there is no death penalty for this case, correct? <laughs> you, you understand that. We we we're not actually going to hang him. We we can't that's we can't do that one. I know it's Florida, but we still can't do that. Like, what is going to be the defense that you mount? I was just kidding. Right, it's just a prank, bro. How bitches can't take a joke. Is that your defense? If you're 61 years old and you're doing this, you do not have the self. You have been a horror throughout your entire life. Everyone around you for 61 years has had to endure you. That is what you are. This is what comes of telling your children that they can't tell off Uncle Billy at Christmas mm -hmm. for saying fucked up shit. This oh, is what happens. It's a woman in a wheelchair with Down syndrome. And you're like, I'm gonna fuck with her. This is this is gonna make my it's Disney World. This is my fun time. And I mean, why the Christ? Why do you need to go out of your way to be a dick to anybody? I don't know. 61 years old, you're still acting like, like, how, like a how sad old. is your life that your idea of fun is getting shit hammered at Disney World and fucking with people? I, I don't know what makes me matter that he did it or that he's like, I didn't do nothing. He did that shit. I hate that shit. Yeah, like look, like look at the mugshot. Mm hmm. Yeah. No remorse. Yeah, there he is. Just sort of like, I don't know. I was just, I was just, I was just, uh, we were having fun. We were playing. I was just playing. There's a thing that a certain subset of the population, mostly white men, mm. like to do, which is shit on other people and then assume that everyone's having fun because they're having fun. Yeah. And then oh, flipping it around. They, you know, they like the fuck. They they like the fuck around phase. The find Finding out phase. All of a sudden, we're not all having fun. Like the entire family leaps up. Like I would do. It's my kid. I'd be. You were lucky. You were lucky. Oh, yeah? that you were lucky. Someone did not set you on fire at Disney World. What at Disney World of all fucking places? You come to the happiest place on earth. And you're like, I am going to be a fool. Fuck. Well, this next one, this is, this one is inexplicable. I, I don't know how anyone is. I've done retail. I've done grocery store stuff. I, I haven't done fast food, but I know it's rough. You've got to try to deal with customers. And sometimes they make it freaking impossible because Something is not working right. Like this just this one is how do you deal with this? This this is I, I um I'm trying to give you a better deal. Customer pulls gun on Burger King employee for giving him a discount. Burger King customer in Ohio was caught on camera. Pointing a gun at a drive through employee who was trying to give them a discount. Um, police are still searching for the dis disgruntled customer. Suspect can be seen on surveillance video getting out of his car and pointing a gun. 38-year-old Howard uh, Vernon, who was working the drive through Vernon said he was taking the customer order. Two sausage, egg and cheese croissant, a sausage biscuit, and hash browns, and the order came to around eight bucks. He was like, my order can't be right. It should be 11. And I'm trying to explain to him we had a promotion going on and it's cheaper. And he started cussing and getting loud. It was like, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know why you want to pay more money. Vernon said, after the argument, the customer sped off. A minute later, he pulled back around the drive through window as Vernon was helping another customer. That's when the suspect pulled the gun. Vernon said the man threatened to kill him and called him a racial slur. What the fuck? 
at that point, like I have been in this situation at various retail jobs where the customer is just not fucking understanding that you're trying to help them out. Right. Yeah. I'll be honest with you at that point. I just get rid of the discount and let them pay whatever the fuck they want. Yeah. I mean, that, that, well, if you want to pay more money when you don't have to, I'm not going to fucking stop you. Yeah, but that's one of those instances. I'm not going to fight with you about it. That's one of those instances where you have those metrics and you have your your supervisor. And it's possible and the way the computer's set up, they won't even let them do that. Yeah, you know, if it if it automatically rings the promotion, that might not even be an option. What? But in... when I've when I've been able to do it, I'm just like, oh, okay, my bad. And I like that Dumbass. he drove, came back with the gun. What the? F like you had a minute to At think about. At the end of the you're... day, this is a quote from the employee. At the end of the day, it was about some bread and sausage sandwiches at nine o'clock in the morning on Easter, and you're mad that you'd put a gun in somebody, and you're that mad that you'd put a gun in somebody's face on Easter. On Easter. On fucking Easter. Probably came straight from fucking church the hell is wrong with your at you just why like at that point everything after pulling the gun it's all downhill because they go find you they will yeah they're going to check and see if you're supposed to have that gun i know in america weird concept but you're going to be in so much more trouble than for just yelling at a drive through employee, which, unfortunately... Unfortunately, you are allowed to do that as much as you want. You're allowed to be a complete dick, so long as you don't start fucking with, physically. You can be just as shitty as you like. It's America. That's, that's the cornerstone of our country and probably explains quite a few problems. Yay. But the moment you're like, no, 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 he didn't understand me. I need to go back. And what were you going to do? Go back with the gun and give him an extra three bucks? A reverse robbery? What the hell are you doing? How dare you try to save me $3? You're going to like force the cash back into his hand at gunpoint? No, no, no. And like one of the reasons that people will get mad about stuff like this is they make it, they, they think that like, oh, you think I can't afford it? I don't give a fuck if you could afford it. This is a, it's my job, okay. man. I don't give a crap yeah. about you. You have money. I give you stuff. That's how it works. I'm just here. I, will ha I am here because I have to pay to live in a box. And I mean, I would probably ask just to be sure I was getting my full order. Like, oh, it usually comes to this right. much. Do you have everything? Yeah. yeah. And if he was like, yeah, it's just a promotion. Cool. Lucky me. Well, we have yet another we can't take your ass nowhere, quite literally, in this story. This is from Japan. I am. Now, they say one thing in the uh, headline, but you get down into the, to the uh, substance of the story and you find out it's not that thing. It's actually worse. It's it's actually worse. Man arrested for allegedly rubbing his buttocks against water tap at Tokyo Park. Metropolitan Police That's Department. That's not a bidet. That's not a bidet. Has arrested a 56-year-old man at Tokyo's Suganami Ward for uh, allegedly rubbing his buttocks against a water tap. The man has admitted to the charge, saying he did it, quote, to satisfy his sexual desire. Okay, sources say he is suspected. Now, here's where we get to the part where it's like, oh, you said buttocks. You didn't mean yeah. the suspect. No. The sources say he is suspected of rubbing his anus against a water tap. Park has halted the use of the water tap. Someone's like, you don't know where the tap has been and who it's been touched by. We do now. <laughs> yeah. They, 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 this is the point. They, they've halted the use of the water tap and they plan to replace it. Yep. 
Because otherwise, like, you could, like, super steam clean it and, like, you know, all that stuff. But it will always be, oh, that's the anus tap. But also, yeah, bro, I hope your tetanus, shop's up, tetanus shot is up to date. Because random metal objects in, in public outdoors. Guess how they caught him. This is the crazy part. Around 3 a.m. that day, police officer found the man riding a bicycle with his lower body exposed. The man was arrested on suspicion of public indecency. After a picture of himself taken naked at the park was disturbed on his phone, Police later found a photograph of the man rubbing his anus against the water tap. Mayor poorly said he took the pictures after confirming with binoculars no one was nearby. So he actually provided them with the evidence. He was like taking selfies. Of the water faucet up, 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 up his butthole. Here's my question. Was the water on? I don't want why did I don't want that question, Tara. I'm sending well, it back. I, I don't want it. The riding home with no pants on might have been a necessity. <laughs> the water was on. I don't Can't want that. There. I do not want that question. I need to know. I don't care. I don't I want need to know. I need to know what specific fetish we're dealing with here. No. It's important. <laughs> no one is drinking public water ever again. Living corp why does that matter? Because it does. Because <sighs> journalism. That's why. He did the like he the whole arrest and stuff. They would have never that that's the other terrifying thing. They would have never known. No one would have ever known had he not taken a picture. Not a single person in the world would have known that. To, oh, God. See, I got one of those cups. It's not it's it's not yeah. the it's not the, the, the special brand cup, but I got one of them cups. And uh, Ever since chemo, I always have what I call my emotional support water, because when you're in chemo, you are a raisin. You could you could drink a five gallon bucket of water every hour and you will still be dehydrated. So now I have emotional support water everywhere I go. Think about it. We as a we as a society decided here we are going to share a necessity of life with everyone publicly. You could come here and if you are thirsty, you may drink. And we ruined that. We've ru we, now this is self freaking defense now. Sherlock Z, worst thought. How do we know that it was his first time doing this? We don't. And unfortunately, we can probably assume it's not. That is a very There's lead in those. It's not, it's not a Stanley. It's it's not that brand. That is but a, thank you. I that is a very specific circumstance to for spank material. I don't even understand how that you toddled down that little road to hell. I don't even know. I just gave the tetanus shot, man. Next, we have another, oh, fuck this guy. Not quite as bad as the Disney World guy, but this guy is still, well, he kind of fucked himself, so that helps. Um, <laughs> This idiot. And so I'm going to have to ask people in the channel, because this is something I don't know about. I'll have to ask it when we get there. Um, Kentucky man admits to faking his own death to avoid paying over a hundred thousand dollars in child support. Wow! Fuck you, <sighs> Jesse E. Kip, thirty-nine, admitted creating a fake death certificate for himself using stolen credentials from a doctor. K uh, according to the plea agreement, Kip accessed the Hawaii death registry. Uh, in 2000 january 2003 using the details of a doctor living in another state and created a case for own death he then assigned himself as the medical certifier for the case and certified that case which resulted in kip being listed as deceased in many government databases the defendant also infiltrated other states death registry systems using credentials he stole from other real people the defendant faked his own death in part in order to avoid his outstanding child support obligations to his ex-wife. 
I want to be, but I don't like the way they worded this huh. because the child support obligations are not to, to ex his ex-wife. No. No. They are to his child. Right. She's... And we as a society frame it this way, that you owe this woman money when it's the money you owe to support your child. Yeah. because you, The only reason your your ex gets the money is because legally they're an adult. They have to be able to for a bank purposes. Basically, your ex-wife is giving you an interest-free loan. Yeah. On raising your child and you're paying it back. And but we as a society frame it as you have to give this woman money. In addition, he admitted to hacking into private businesses, governmental and corporate networks with information he stole from others and attempted to sell the access to the networks to buyers online. His attorney, uh, Thomas Maselli, did not immediately respond to requests for comments. His crimes resulted in more than $195,000 in estimated damages including more than $79,000 in losses to governmental and corporate networks and more than $116,000 in losses suffered by his ex-wife. No, by the kid, but whatever, we'll deal with that. He's agreed to pay restitution to all parties he wronged. Um, He's going to be the guy who wonders why his kid doesn't want to visit him in the nursing home. After taking a plea deal, he faces a maximum of seven years in prison and up to $500,000 in fines. Someone in the channel answer me this, because I do not have any experience with this. Can bankruptcy help you in this situation? Can declaring bankruptcy and restructuring assist you with this? Is that possible? I don't know. I feel like it shouldn't be able to, lawyers? because if bankruptcy can't get you out of your student loans, mm -hmm. it shouldn't be able to get you out of... Well, Maybe not, food for your child. Maybe not out of the obligation, but out of, you know, structure it in such a way that yeah. you can pay it off. Oh, it don't care. Oh, wow. Okay. Probably not. He's an ass. Yes, he's an asshole. Um, so now seven years of your life are gone. Half a million dollars in I've fines. I just sucked seven years of your life away. <laughs> How do you feel? <laughs> <laughs> like I should have just paid the child support. <laughs> like, I, 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 and the stupid part is, uh, the stupid part is, all he actually had to do was move to Florida. Because mm. they protect deadbeat dads in Florida. Yeah. Wow, that is so stupid. Like, you're over all here. All you had to do was move to Florida. You're over here being <laughs> hacker man and shit. Like, that's another thing that's that's amazing to me. You have this capability, this innate knowledge of how to do this stuff with a computer. You could have so many jobs related to that. Right. You could have made that money. Legally. You wouldn't have had to steal. For, like, you could be like, hey, bro, hey, bro, bro, I can just log into your shit right here. I'll show you how. You, you, you want to hit me up? Because give me a little cash back on that. Call those white hats. It's actually a term for the white hat hackers. That's what they do. And, and no, you decided, no, no, the best solution to this is one where I am a fugitive for the rest of my days. Because if they find you and guess what? Fingerprints are like forever. Um, unless you're, unless you're doing the burning them off shit. Guess what? That doesn't actually work. They do grow back. Unless, well, you mangle yourself. But anyway. I actually used to date a guy who had an elaborate plan should he ever need to fake his own death. Why do we have an anecdote here? I, I've I've had I've made not great decisions with dating. Okay, <laughs> yeah, we have that in common, yeah. And he, he had an elaborate plan about how he would fake his own death if he needed to. A critical part of it and I don't remember why was going to Haiti. Specifically Haiti. And I don't remember why, but that was like a crucial part of the plan. Like, there is no situation made better by faking your own death. Not one. Now, I know some of you out there are like, well, Nash, how do you know? Because if you do it right, you're dead, right? Yeah, but you're living the rest of your life pretending to be someone else forever the slightest slip up you're screwed yeah. you've done that's that's your solution 
to just live like that forever. That's that's your best answer. Now, yeah, depending on what you did, like, you know, if you, you know, you, you like punched a mobster in the dick, I can kind of understand that. But still, this child support, man, your kid is good. Yeah, like, so Terry, you're saying he's not going to, the kid's going to grow up and you have to explain to him, dad, why did you go to jail? Well, you see, I didn't want you to eat. I had to check to make sure this was new. And it is, even though it was reported on April 1st, which always have to be, you know, it, it happened on April 1st. So, so as far as April, I could see th this is like potentially could be laughed off as the worst April Fool's joke of all time. Um, except it wasn't, it's much stupider than that. May, and you might have actually heard this national news. Man in custody after allegedly driving into barrier at Atlanta FBI office. Look at what he did to his car. That car is F-U-K-T fucked. That went through the engine block. Well, maybe not through the engine block, but something screwed up in there. That looks like... Have you have you watched the show Three Body Problem? I'm aware of it. I haven't watched it yet. It's pretty good. Anyway, there's a sequence where like they use nanofibers and cut through stuff, and it kind of looks like that. <laughs> Man's in custody. Like after... the laser grid from Resident Evil, kind of. Man's in custody after he allegedly rammed into a barrier at the FBI's Atlanta field office. The incident happened just after noon Monday when the driver of a Buick Encore with South Carolina license plates, of course, tried to follow an employee's car through a gated entrance. Now, to start off with, he thought he'd be in slick. He thought he was just going to be like, yeah. no, I'm going to hi, I was, which that's not He's how that to tailgate in. I can tell you from experience, I have actually done work on army bases when I was doing um, IT work and. You don't just sort of snake it. No, 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 no. Yeah, everybody gets stopped. If you don't get stopped and looked at, someone's in trouble. That's how that works. Yeah. Um, the entrance pop-up wedge barrier engaged, as it does after every vehicle passes through. Suspect rammed into it. See, after a car goes through, it pops up until you get cleared. Then it goes down. Then you can go through. Well, oops. The man then got out of his SUV and tried to run inside past the gate, but he was tackled soon after. Bob I mean, Squad. I guess in for a penny. <laughs> Bob Squad searched, uh, checked the vehicle as precaution. It was cleared. No weapons were found. Motive for the incident is not clear. You know that that joke we had about the, or the internet had about Area 51 and, and the, the Naruto run and they can't catch all of us? That only works if there's more than one of you! Yeah. <laughs> that's... You, got, you need decoys. That's the fundamental... You know, it's not that just they decide not to. It's not like Duck, Duck, Goose. It, 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 it's... You have to have... Oh my. Of all the places to fuck around and find out. And like, what was your plan? Even if you got into the parking lot. What is that? Like, like everybody's you gonna... gotta, you gotta know they don't just let anybody walk into the building, right? Oh, he's fine. What do you mean? I didn't want to check him. It doesn't matter. He's, he looks okay. Just whatever. It's not the kind of place they just let people wander around. Nope. Like the, the pop that that is they they're, they don't screw around with this stuff. They've had reason not to screw around. I don't know if you remember they had dude that was shooting the FBI agents a little early. It was last year? Yeah, it was last year. They aren't screwing around these days because people they are, had you know I don't know if you guys heard about it, but a few years ago a bunch of people tried to like run a whole ass coup yeah at the capital of the country yeah. So federal offices are a little on edge about this shit right now. They're a little jumpy. Just a little, little, 
little needing to cut back on the caffeine because issues. But the, the part, I love the part that it's, like, if I, if that was me, which it wouldn't be, but if I was in that situation like that, I'd be like, well, shit, I'm done. I don't, see, I'm the kind of person is if I don't have to run, I don't want to run. No. Running is not fun for me. If if you ever see me and I'm running, you should run too because <laughs> Godzilla's behind me. So if I, I'd be, I, my, my response would just be like, okay, I'm done. You got me. Like, what am I going to do? It's, well, that didn't work out. That's it. That's a, I, no, to be like, okay, backup plan. Feats don't fail me now. And I do, you know, I think there's there's a physical requirement to be an FBI agent, so they can probably run. And it's like it, this is literally pissing on a hornet's nest. It's oops, all FBI. They're all there. <laughs> it's like it's it's like they're all in one place. It's just a collection, you know. It's not, it's not like with the with the with the toy commercials. Some th- some some toys sold separately. No, no, they all come together as a set. Nope. It's a bargain. <sighs> At least make them work for it. No, 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 no. See if if I if 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 they're coming for me, if I'm getting my ass arrested, and my vehicle is no longer in commission, that's it. I'm having a sit. If I have anything, if I have any candy left, I'm going to just get that down my throat while I have a chance to have a sip of water. The thing. At least if you stop, you can try and make the case that you lost control of the car. Right. You can say, oh, my foot slipped off the brake. I'm sorry. Right. If you at least sit there and look bewildered, you can attempt to make the case that this was some crazy accident. Right. That you blacked out. Oh, man, I took Ambien last night and I blacked out. Holy shit! My, I, I my foot slipped off the pedal. But you can no, try. It probably won't work, but you can try. You can. You at least have a slender thread. But no, when you hop out and start running, that's gone. You're fucked. <laughs> God Almighty! I guess. Yes, yeah, that's the first thing we learned this week. Don't run if you don't have to. Why put yourself through that if 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 you're if you're if you're 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 already on the road to hell? You might Find as well smarter, not harder. Yeah, uh, we learned. Oh my god, what the fuck did we learn this week? We learned that faking your own death is not the solution you seem to think it is. You know what's I, cheaper than a hundred k in child support? A condom. Of a vasectomy. <sighs> vasectomy might not be cheaper depending on your insurance. Yeah, it's not, not in America. Other places it is. Yeah. We've learned yeah. do not use public water fountains under any circumstances. Because I, I want to bookmark this damn thing to be like, well, why don't you use public water like fountains, I thought, Nash? I always thought the bigger the biggest problem would be some kid deep throating it no no it's the other hole tara it's the other hole i know we've learned if you pulling a gun on someone attempting to give you a discount just makes the whole situation much much worse there's there's no out you're it's, it's, what the hell? We've learned if you try to start shit over somebody's kid at Disneyland, you're going to get stomped. I'm amazed Mickey didn't, and Mickey and Goofy and Dad didn't come up in there and started just wailing on your ass while you're at it. Wouldn't that be amazing? It. Wouldn't that like would the be? the fucking Easter Bunny from Mall Rats? Right, yeah. Just a mascot. That would be great. You remember that clip? That kid who, like the the that the birthday party, they had Thanos. The ki- Thanos fell down. And the kids just start wailing on him like a whole bunch. That yeah, that that would uh, yeah. Anyway, and finally, we've learned 
We're giving our nine-year-old so much anxiety. They're stealing your car to get to school. Lay off the kids. Maybe, maybe dial back. Dial it back a little bit. Like, they don't need it. They don't need the stress. <laughs> I just, I, I'm, I'm just like, tr his mom, I, I'm trying to imagine his mom trying to yell at him and just, what Wait, do I you say? You guys don't know this. You guys, a lot of you guys don't know this. Being a kid used to be fun. It did. And I then... know that sounds crazy because it's not fun anymore. But being a kid used to be fun. The amount of unsupervised time we had, unscheduled, unsupervised, nobody even considering what the fuck we were up to, drinking out of hoses, we were feral. Yeah. And, and it was great. And now you I had especially protective parents, so I was only allowed to ride my bike up and down the two blocks in the radius of where I lived, completely unsupervised. Now it's like when half a uh, mile from my house. That's like when you graduate from uh, elementary school. It's like uh, here's your cap, here's your gown, here's your therapist. 